Welcome Kumas to another World of Warcraft guide, you're here with Kuma. This time I'll be teaching you how to share your raid lockout with your other characters. Basically what this does is, you clear out a dungeon up to the final boss, say for example ICC up to the Lich King, and you basically exit a dungeon, and you share that particular save at the final boss with all your other tunes, which is what I'm going to be doing with all my ults. So basically, I am going to share the raid lockout that Lightning has. She's at the Lich King, and she's going to share it with all her 10 other ults, which is going to be freaking sweet, because then I'm going to be able to kill the Lich King 10 times without having to clear ICC. So let me show you how it's done. Okay, so first of all, we're going to log into Lightning. I'm going to start a group. I'm going to list this group. Listing group. The group is now listed. I'm now going to log out of my main. I am now going to log into my alt. My alt is now going to look for the group in the custom group finder. He is going to apply for that group. I'm going to sign up. Sign up as a DPS, because DPS awesome. And now it's going to have a pending invite of 5 minutes. You will now log out of your alt and go back onto your main. Now you will log back onto your main where you will accept your alt's uh, request for invitation. There you go, you now open up your group finder. Where my alt is asking for an invite, you will now invite the alt. Log out. Now you log into your alt for the final time. Your alt has now been accepted to the group, you will accept the group. Now in your raid info, you still have absolutely no lockout, but you will then run into ICC. Once in ICC, you will be asked if you would like to accept the save to a 11 out of 12 kills, 10 man normal ICC. You will say yes. You will then jump outside. And now the boring part. You are going to have to basically wait for your main to have leadership swapped to your alt. Basically, it's going to time out after a few minutes. But after a few minutes, you will become the leader of the raid, allowing you to switch the raid mode. It is very important at this point to switch the raid mode from 10 man to 25 man. Because once you save to a 10 man, you can upgrade to either a 10 man heroic save or a 25 man normal. If you update if you upgrade the save to a 10 man heroic, you will not be able to upgrade a 10 man heroic to a 25 man heroic. However, if you first upgrade the save from a 10 man normal to a 25 man normal, you will be able to go inside the raid and then upgrade from a 25 man normal to a, to a 25 man heroic. Because as we know, 25 man heroic is the only way invincible drops. It is very important to do it this way. If you do not do it this way, you will probably screw it up for a week. You know how I know? I basically screwed this up while filming the guide. <laughs> I screwed up with Sniper Wolf. I basically did this accidentally out of, you know, accidentally. I upgraded it to 10-man heroic and now I cannot upgrade it to 25-man. See, now I have leadership. Now I will increase the raid size to 25, normal. Normal, 25. Now I'm going to jump in to a 25 man normal ICC. I am now in a 25 normal ICC where 11 out of 12 bosses are dead. I will now accept this. Now while I'm in the raid, I will upgrade it to a heroic. I am now going to accept a save into a 25 man heroic ICC with 11 out of 12 bosses dead. I will click accept. This is my ult, mind you. I have not killed a single boss on this ult. I am now basically go to the upper spire. And I'm basically going to run. At this point, I could basically leave the raid. There you go. 
Lightning is basically still saved to a 11 out of 12 ICC normal. I am basically going to kill Arthas now. Oh fuck. Today certainly is your you day. should not do that. Crap. Wee. Okay. Make sure you do not leave the fucking party. I'm basically going to log out as quick as I can. Holy crap. Do not leave that fucking raid. Oh my god, I am an idiot. We'll grant you a swift death, Don't worry, I'm basically going to log out just before I'm kicked out. I'm going to log on to my main again and accept. Don't worry, the method works. I basically showed you guys exactly how the method works, but I'm going to make sure I get it right on footage to prove to you guys that it does work. I am a little bit of a numb nuts doing it that way. Why the hell did I leave? I am such an idiot. Invite. He's basically invited. That's what happens when I shoot my load too quickly. Now log into Saint and accept that invite within two seconds. I accept your invite. Thank you. I'm a t in a 25 man heroic Lich King now. Thank you. I'm just gonna right click and attack you. Hello, Mr. Lich King. Fuck you. And I already wiped on the Lich King. Nice. As you can see, guys, do not leave the raid. If Lightning gets kicked from the raid, that's cool. If you leave the raid, you'll get kicked out of the raid. So. I am still in a 25 man heroic. Okay, here we go. I can't help you. Here comes the NRG. You can grab chips while you're waiting. And basically by the time you come back from the kitchen, they're still talking. I am ready. So be it. Champions, attack! Sweet. I'll keep you alive. Do now you must kill the Lich King on 25 man heroic. I highly recommend you put your back to these stairs because he might knock you back. If he knocks you back, you would rather get knocked up these stairs than get knocked out of the arena. Now forgive me for being a shitty death knight, I do not know what I'm doing in this new patch. Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Oh, hello Mr. Lich King. I'm still gonna attack you though. Are those my guys? No, they're not. Okay, he's dying. We're basically in phase two already. We're about to enter phase three. Uh oh! No! 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 Fucker! Remember what I said about keeping your back to the stairs? That's why. Son of a bitch. Okay, back we go to the Lich King. Okay, I'm just gonna put my back to these stairs so he does not knock me back. He could at any moment knock me back. I do not want that. Yep, he just knocked me forward. That's good. I avoided it. I did not get knocked out completely. Oh crap! No, 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 no! You fuck! Oh god damn it. Okay, knocked me back. I'm gonna use Pillar of Frost so he cannot knock me around. Until Pillar of Frost runs out, I am safe to attack him. 
Hello Frost is running out. I'm gonna run at the back of the stairs so I cannot get knocked around. I am gonna stick on these stairs just so I don't die. It's tough as a melee character, but I'm basically gonna have to wait for my Pillar of Frost to come back so I get I cannot get knocked around because it stops external uh, effects such as knockbacks. He's gonna knock me around. He can knock me off this ledge at any time. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna sit my ass down here and just wait. I'm just going to wait an extra 10 seconds just so it's safe to attack him. Another 7 seconds. Okay, Pillar of Floss time. He cannot knock me around anymore. Okay, now he's attacking. Now I'm safe. Alright, he's back to doing his melee attacks. Another six seconds. Okay, I'm gonna run back. Two seconds. Please do not knock me around. Please do not knock me around. I am not gonna move. I am not gonna die. He's almost at phase three. Another 20 seconds and I can charge in. Come to me, you bastard. I am not gonna wipe. Go to phase three. Go to phase three. Go to Here we go. Phase three. What? I didn't get killed. I am the greatest. Die, you bastard. He's on one HP. Yes. See, he's gonna die. And that, my friends, and that, my Kumas, is how you share your raid lock. I'm gonna go forth now and clear him on all my characters because I know last time I did a guide like this I ended up getting um what's that horse from Karazhan Midnight I ended up getting Midnight so if I get invincible I want this shit to be playing if I get invincible I want it so I'm just gonna put my water here in case I destroy something the longest part of this fight is basically the NRG but if you stick to the basics, keep your back to these stairs, he will not knock you off the arena. The arena, look, look how small it is. If he knocks you, you're basically going to fall off. So just keep your back here. If you're a range, like a mage, a warlock, a hunter, you're going to have an easy time. If you're a melee, basically keep your back um, to these stairs until you have something that prevents a knockback. Basically like pill uh, Pillar of Frost. Okay, he's now rezzing me, but... I'm still alive. So I'm just gonna take a selfie. Wait, wait, wait. wait I'm gonna let you finish. But first I'm gonna take a selfie. There we go. I'm gonna take a selfie. There we go. That's a good selfie. Come on, dude. You're killing me here, man. Come on, go Super Saiyan already. That is so OP. And we're all gonna have one of those stupid bloody Ashbringers. We're gonna have the blade that broke for Osmorn. Man, that is a massive sword. I finish him. There we go. A great success. Where's my invincible? He cares. He cares. See, first time killing him. Who cares? Ooh, I get a massive sword. Who cares? Ooh, I get a massive mace. Who cares? Okay, where's my mount? No mount, you're a dick. You can leave the party. You gotta log out. You gotta log back onto your main. And your main, like always, will have a 25-man ICC saved at the Lich King. You're then gonna make another group, like that. You're gonna log out, log in another alt, apply for that group. 
you're gonna log back onto your main accept your alt into the group your alt is then going to join the group and wait till your main basically passes leadership to your alt your alt is then going to switch the raid to 25 man normal go inside the raid and switch it to 25 man heroic Anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this guy, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe to get the next one as soon as it comes out. Oh yeah, and by the way, check out my other guides. I got heaps. There's a World of Warcraft playlist in the description below. Anyway, till next time, Ninja Kuma out. Bye!